and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Angie and I'm a chemist who loves makeup. So today we are going to be discussing the Maybelline Lash Sational Sky High Mascara because this has been very popular on TikTok apparently. So we are going to be breaking down some of the ingredients in this mascara and how it contributes to how people say it's performing. I hope that this is educational either if you wanted to get this mascara or to kind of know what you should be looking for in your mascara depending on your preferences. So let's look at the claims of this mascara according to Ulta. So it says it delivers full volume and that it's a washable mascara so it should be easy to take off. So it says it has full volume and limited length and that it's infused with bamboo extract and fibers. I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, the bamboo extract's not probably doing anything. It's more of just a marketing tactic. This does help sell people on it so that's why companies put small amounts of these kind of ingredients in there. So I went through some of the reviews on Ulta to try to get a feel of what people are saying about this mascara, both good and bad. So the top praises of this are that it gives a lot of length, that it is lightweight and not clumping. A lot of the negative reviews are saying that it doesn't hold a curl, that it's difficult to get off and there's a lack of volume. And also that it is wet feeling. So the lightweight and the wet kind of go hand in hand. So the first two ingredients in this mascara are water and propylene glycol. So propylene glycol is a humectant. That means it's really good at drawing water to it. It also has a weight only slightly heavier than water. So that's why it's going to feel very lightweight. But because these are really good at drawing water, this is gonna give more of a wet formula. More other formulas that are more quick drying have volatile solvents, in, which means that it's liquids that are going to be more quick evaporating, like isododecane. Because it does have this affinity for water, the formula is gonna feel wet longer. It's not gonna dry down as quickly, but this also does kind of help the formula be less clumpy as well. So let's talk about how this formula provides length and it has a lack of volume, because those two things kind of go hand in hand. So aside from the formula, when you look at the brush, this brush is not really set up to give volume. They're very, very short. So your all of your motion that you're getting is kind of going upwards. This is really similar to the Bad Gal Bang Mascara from Benefit, which I'm wearing today and that I really, really love, which is more of a length mascara, not a volumizing mascara. So the reason why this is happening in terms of formula is because this formula has less waxes in it. There are waxes in there, but not as much, and more of these polymer film formers. So with a wax, they're more solid-like. So you're able to kind of build them up a little bit and apply more on top a little bit easier. With this one, you have to remember it's a liquid formula. So basically what's happening is you're, you're coating your lashes with this very wet formula, more of a liquid formula, and these film formers are setting and then that helps give you length. But because it's so liquid, they're not, it doesn't have, it doesn't retain its shape very well. If that I don't know if that's coming across right. And so with these Lex waxes, you're not gonna achieve a very voluminous look. This is very beneficial if you just want length. For instance, most of us are probably wearing less makeup right now, kind of going with a more natural look. So I don't need very super voluminous, thick eyelashes. That's why I've been gravitating towards this Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara because it does give me that length and so I can wear it day to day. So if that's not what you're going for, this isn't going to be the mascara for you, but if you are looking for just something to make your lashes longer and just make your natural lashes look a little better, this is going to do that. For this formula, they also say this is a washable formula, but a lot of people are actually having a hard time getting it off. So this kind of goes again back to the waxes. So a lot of mascaras are mostly wax base and these waxes are oil soluble meaning you can use a cleansing balm most makeup wipes and oil but remember this formula is primarily based in water and these film formers which actually most of them i don't believe to be oil soluble so using this is actually not going to get it off your lashes so i would either use my cellar water to get this off of my eyelashes because it contains surfactants that are able to mix with multiple types of things to remove your makeup or, or use whatever oil-based makeup removing device that you use to get it off your eyeshadow and other makeup and just use your face wash to take this off. Surfactants in your face wash should wash this off easily. I think that's kind of the promise people are trying to use oils to take this off. 
So a lot of people said it also wasn't holding a curl. And again, it's just coating your lashes and making them longer. If you have naturally curly lashes, this probably isn't a problem to you. But if you are somebody who likes really curly lashes, this probably isn't the best mascara for you. So overall for me, I think this would be a good mascara because I just really want a lengthening mascara now. I think this is a good day-to-day -day mascara. This may not be a great going out mascara if you want really big lashes, you got like your smoky eye on. But for the average day-to-day -day person, this is a good mascara. So maybe for first part of 2021, this would be a great mascara. Maybe fall 2021, we go back to our voluminous mascaras. So I hope that you guys learned something today. Tell me if you've tried this mascara, if you like it, would you like to try this mascara? If you like these kind of deep dives into the ingredients, let me know down below. Give this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe if you want to learn more about the science behind your makeup and skincare. And with that, I will see you in my next video. Bye!